Kia ora everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is Ben and this is Rory. Hey. And we're here from Safe Surfer. Welcome to the YouTube channel. And really what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to film a series of tutorial videos uh, just showcasing some of the things that we have to offer at Safe Surfer and how that, that can help you. And so the first thing that we want to talk about is the Safe Surfer app. So Rory, why, why should people download the Safe Surfer app? I guess, you know, uh, you want to protect your kids, uh, you want to get a good level of internet filtering uh, across all your devices, um, just the amount of content that's out there, you know, I think it's probably a really good idea that we are um, blocking and putting boundaries in place right. to really stop some of that stuff. Excellent. So I'm a parent. Mm. All right, I want to uh, download the app. Can you walk me through how on earth I do that? Should we start with picking up your phone? Bro, that sounds fantastic. I've got my phone here. Cool. Yeah. So jump into the, the app store. The app store. The place where go. all good things happen. That's it. And then if you just uh, put in Safe Surfer into that search there. Up here. Thank yeah. you very much. Here we go. Safe Surfer. And then you'll see the Safe Surfer app show up. And if you just want to hit that little download button. Awesome, so uh, it's downloaded the app for me cool. and I'm obviously going to open that. Open it up? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, there's just a quick notification to get started. So if you just want to go allow on that notification. Allow. Um, and then the next thing is our um, privacy. Okay. So you just want to scan your eyes through our privacy right, policy. Read the whole privacy setting. Don't be that guy that doesn't read it. I think the most important <laughs> thing is that we offer a number of levels of privacy. Cool. And so, you know, we really want to protect users' privacy. So if you just want to go, I agree, once you've had a read. Excellent. And then get started. And now the next thing is we want to link it to your Safe Surfer account. Okay. So if you don't already have one, you can put in a new one there. Okay. Um, you can also kind of skip this step okay. if it's um, something you want to do later. Yeah. So, so because I already have a Safe Surfer account, mm. I can just enter my email and my password. So why, why don't I just go ahead and do that now? Fantastic. So cool. it's asking me to set up a PIN code. So what does that mean? Yeah, so basically it's just a way of locking the app. Okay. So it means that it's going to request that PIN code anytime you try and open the app, um, which means that you, no one can just stop the protection. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and just put in a... a Set simple. up a super secret PIN code for the sake of this exercise. I think your, your kids might guess that. I don't know. Code. He's he's three. <laughs> maybe, maybe my eight-month job. He could figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Danger ahead, you're not protected in the online surf. Cool. So I guess this is just a step to say, hey, um, let's hit the get protected button. Okay. Uh, and so you want to now hit allow on allow. that little notification. So it uses a VPN profile. Okay. And now you want to um, just verify that profile. Okay. And it's brought you back into the app. So now you're seeing what it looks like when you do have to put in the pin code. Okay. So if you go and put in that pin code. Super secret pin code. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and now you can hit the get started button. Cool. All right. Sweet. So now it's saying you are protected. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a good thing. So if you hit the little hamburger menu. At the top here. That's the one. Yeah. And now you've got a little option called block sites okay. as the third. This one yeah. here. Click that. And this is going to give you a list of things that you can choose to block from. Right. So it's going to say, um, you know, it's grayed out to start off with. So if you just want to hit that enable device specific rules yep. and then choose what we're going to block. So it's quite a big list. Right. Um, you know, we've really tried to think of as, as many things as parents might might need to block. Bro, this is amazing. Yeah, thanks. So yeah. I could block something like it says ads at the top here. So if I click that, like what? What's yeah, it so so it's basically blocking all of the known um, kind of ad platforms, if okay. you like. And so it just means that you're going to get a really clean surfing environment when you're on the web. Yeah. Like you'll just see a lot of white space. Right. On new sites and different yeah, things. That sounds that sounds amazing to me. Yeah. And so if I if I scroll down here, maybe perhaps if there was one of these specific sites that I wanted to block, so say uh, Pinterest, for example, is that going to block the Pinterest app, and is it going to block the the website as well? 
Yeah, that's right. So basically, it's going to block any Pinterest-related URLs. Okay. So it means that when you go into the app, it won't refresh because right. you won't be able to see any new content. Okay. So um, and obviously, when you try and access the website, it'll just say you've surfed out too far. Huh? There we go. And so obviously, I need to click Save up the top here. Yep. And so once I've done that, what, what do I need to do now? Yeah, so now it's going to bring you, um, if you just hit the little arrow, it'll bring you back into the app. Uh, and effectively, you're done. Okay. So all you need to do now is just minimize the app or close the app. Um, and the app is just going to continuously run in the background on the phone. And so it's going to report all the usage back to the account that you registered it as. So, which would be really cool um, if it, there's a support person that is checking in on you to see how much Pinterest you're using. Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, so effectively, um, we're done. Excellent. Mm. Well, good times. I think that probably uh, rounds out video, video one. We're going to do this in a bit of a series. So, um, the next uh, video that we're going to put up is uh, looking at accountability. So just real quick, just to give them a teaser kind of for the next video, what, what, what are we talking about when we talk about accountability? Yeah, so really it's just adding a support person. So someone that might walk alongside you um, or maybe in the case of a parent, it's, it might be for their kids, you know, where literally you're putting in um, their account on your phone and therefore they're getting all of the, the data um, and they're able to just check in with you and say, hey, you know, uh, I saw you looked at Pinterest, um, what's going on there, uh, that kind of thing. Okay. So, yeah. Fantastic. That's exciting, and we hope you got value out of this video. If you did, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, hit the like button, leave a comment below if this video was helpful, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Lou. Sounds good. Cheers, Ben.